Walmart became the town square, and the town square just died. So, uh, yeah, it, it, it really is a true story, and it's happened, you know, so many different <coughs> places. Uh, and, yeah, so there's, like, layers to it. And the, and the other layer is, so when we did this originally back in 2006, uh, the, the casting was very literal to, like, Star Wars. So it was six white guys and a white woman in the, in the show. Uh, and uh, last year, I, we had a show here that I wrote called Wicked, and it was a Star Wars parody musical about racism and sexism in Star Wars. And like, you know, it was kind of funny. And then I thought back, it's like, well, you know what? We did another Star Wars show way back when. And we were very literal to Star Wars, you know, six white men and one white woman. It's like, why did, why did we do that? Like, why couldn't we have thought bigger? Why couldn't we, you know, not been locked down to that? And so part of what I, the reason I wanted to really want to do this is like, we don't have to, didn't have to be this way. So. It's art. You can make it how you want to, right? That's right. <laughs> you know, and you know, stuff like Hamilton has really opened up that world that you don't have to think so literally. So, uh, you know, um, Han Solo in this is, is, is a black woman, and Obi-Wan's a black man, and Princess Leia is a black man, and um, Luke Skywalker is a woman, and Darth Vader is a woman, or at least those analog characters. And uh, it's, it's been really cool because, like, the story, when you start making those little changes, like, all these things started popping up that I never really thought about. Like, for example, in Star Wars, there's only one character that anybody talks about their appearance, and it's Princess Leia. You know, when Luke first sees Princess Leia, he says, she's beautiful. But no one ever talks about how good-looking Han Solo is or Luke or, like, you know, there's a lot of good-looking guys in there. Nobody talks about that, but Leia, like, oh, she's beautiful. So suddenly when that character is a black man instead of a white woman and all these people are talking about what good-looking, like, look how good he is, like, good-looking he is, and it felt... It just felt strange and like it's like well that's interesting like we should lean into that and so now everybody's talking about how good looking he is and he wears shorts and you know shows his legs off and everybody is constantly you know commenting on his how, how what a great looking guy he is and it's it's just it's just interesting that and it and it feels remarkable right that people do that like why are they doing that that's strange why would they keep doing that it's like, well, if it was a woman, you wouldn't say that. And then there's a scene that's kind of the, the analog to the very first scene of Star Wars where Princess Leia's ship is trying to escape and Darth Vader comes on and you know, takes her uh, into custody. And then this one, it's the first scene is that, char that analog character is leading a protest and the sheriff comes in. And now, of course, the Princess Leia character is a black man and the sheriff is a white woman, the Darth Vader character. And so, like, when the scene takes on a new like level it's like a white woman arresting a black man in a protest and it's just like suddenly it's like well there's a, there's there's more to this than meets the eye and so it, it all just like making those changes didn't it, it they weren't minor changes you know it wasn't just change of pronouns like you had to go in and like realize what what we're now saying and there were new opportunities to kind of lean into those things and, and make new discoveries which was which was really cool and it's just so much, it's just such a fun show now with like these kind of unexpected, so you know, the Han Solo character in this, in, in this is, is a truck driver. You know, this fast talking, which uses all this CB lingo and terminology. Ain't a Kojak uh, with the Kodak on the super slab that can slow me down, you know, just like this, this fast riffing, but you know, or being a woman kind of changes it too. It's like, it's just a very different perspective. You know, going through the process too, it like, nobody wants to, well, sorry, I'm not saying nobody. I don't want to think that I'm a racist, but there are some things that, because you never even think the question, and they're so baked in because of like the society you grew up in that you can look back and say, I did a thing that was very racist. Like I cast a show full of white people when I could have made a different choice. And it didn't seem like I was making a racist choice at the time because I was just going with the flow. That's just the, that was the normal thing to do. But like, you need to question those things. You gotta stop. And, and when something comes easy like that, 
then that's really when you have to like look inside yourself and say, "Is wait a second, is that right? Maybe I'm not thinking this through all the way. Maybe you know I've learned something that I shouldn't have learned, or, or you know." So uh, it's 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 been a good process for me and a little hard process too you know kind of making those realizations that uh, you know some of the stuff that's that, that you've internalized that you don't think about uh, but you know so you could be proactive about those things and, I, and that's what I've, I've realized you know I've, I wrote a show a few years back it's called Song of the Living Dead and you know we knew we wanted to have a doctor character and you know, we were just talking about this doctor character and what he would do and what he would say and what his personality was like and how he would... And it was like weeks into the process before I said, well, it could be a woman too, right? You know what I mean? It's just like that. it's so easy to like fall into that for no good reason, you know? Aside from that's just what you've seen since you were a kid and never thought to, to question it.